how's it going everyone that's Fink here so before we get into the video i just want to ask you all to enter my 1000 special giveaway where i'm giving away a one piece manga volume 74 the link would be in the description below so just click that link subscribe to my channel turn on the notifications and you'd be entering the giveaway competition so yeah good luck to you all so today we are gonna discuss some huge and I'm talking major One Piece spoilers. These were apparently leaked by a group of hackers who claim to have gotten into a conversation between Oda and his editors. And these spoilers were on a Japanese website and they got deleted from there. They even got deleted from Oro Jackson. So without wasting any time, let's get into the spoilers. So I'd first narrate them without any biased thoughts just so you guys can understand the, what these spoilers are saying and what they're all about and after I'm done with that I'll break these spoilers down and would express my own thoughts afterwards regarding it. So before I start the video I just wanna give a disclaimer that these spoilers can be absolute bullshit which is likely the case. Don't think of them as what's written is gonna happen. These spoilers are likely to be fake, but they potentially can be true to a certain extent. So this would be your last chance. Even though these spoilers are fake, you still may wanna leave this video if you don't wanna get into the spoilers. A Japanese group of hackers hacked a conversation between Oda and his editors. These spoilers were firstly posted in 2chan, which is a Japanese website that includes many topics related to manga industry. The person who uploaded these spoilers got his account terminated, and the translation of these spoilers that were posted on orojackson.com got deleted too. So it's pretty likely that there was something in the spoilers that Shonen Jump didn't want you to know about. The link to the spoilers is nowhere to be found, but I recollected all the information that these spoilers had. 2017. No information regarding how the whole Kick Island will conclude is available. Scene shifts was reverie. The world government makes a final decision to capture Luffy once and for all. Probably they got to know about what he did in Big Mom's territory. Revolutionaries infiltrate the reverie and it is revealed that Dragon had acquired the same incurable disease as Roger had. There is no mention of abolishing the Shichibugai system, but one huge information is revealed. Uranus is a giant phoenix whose location is unknown. 2018 Scene shifts towards Wano. The huge clash between the Alliance and the Yonko Kaido takes place. Zoro defeats the Shogun, who was his father, and receives a new sword. Kid, Law, and Luffy defeats Kaido. Scene shifts towards Whole Cake Island. The last admiral, who hasn't been revealed yet, Ryo Kugyu, also known as Green Bull, goes to the ruined Whole Cake Island that was placed in shambles by Straw Hats and kills Big Mom. And yet another Yonko falls. 2019 After dealing with Kaido, Straw Hats reach Elbaf where they meet Loki, the prince of all giants. Loki tells the Straw Hats that the last road pony glyph is in the moon. Before they could have left Elbaf, Moria returns to take revenge on Luffy. He revives the dead bodies of Big Mom, Ace and Whitebeard by using his devil fruit and defeats the Straw Hats. He reveals that the dark shadows which were shown at the end of Thriller Bark is nothing but the huge phoenix Uranus. 2020. The Straw Hats reach the island which is parallel to Water 7. That island is named Fire 7. Vegapunk appears for the first time and reveals the secret about Devil Fruits, how they work and where did they come from. He modifies the Thousand Sunny which enables it to fly to the moon. By that time, Luffy and Buggy are considered to be the Yonko. CP0 finds out about Vegapunk helping the Straw Hats and assassinates him. 2021 When they reach the moon, Straw Hats get their ship destroyed by Frankie's parents. They got stuck in the moon and are way worse than Judge and the Windsmokes. You would have thought that the Windsmokes are absolute worse but you were wrong. Straw Hats gets the road poneglyph and descent from the moon in Arc Maxim which is the shape of an L. 
when they reach back on earth they find out that black bear has already become the pirate king and has reached raftel 2022 straw hats versus black bear pirates begin chopper fights doc q the battle between the doctors begin doc q is revealed to be dr hiroluk way back from their drum island and this is where the spoilers end and I don't know about you guys but now I'm gonna give my honest thoughts so according to me these spoilers are absolutely fake I guarantee you only some of the things that is written here might happen and that's also not you know absolutely true that it will happen it's not absolutely certain so my belief is these spoilers are fake and you just not gonna believe in them so if you guys ask me that why that why I am judging the spoilers that that why are they fake here is my explanation. So we are gonna discuss the spoilers in brief from the very beginning. So it says that the group of hackers hacks a conversation that took place between Oda and his editor. So in an interview Oda stated that he talks to his editors via phone call or by meeting the editor personally. It states that in Reverie, Val Gorman decides to capture Luffy. Yeah, I can see that happening and that should happen actually. And I guess that that thing is just gonna happen. Dragon acquires the disease that Roger had. And my belief is, it, it is possible to a certain extent. He also might acquire the incurable disease. After both Dragon and Roger fail, Luffy would be the one who would complete both of their dreams. So yeah, I could see that happening. Uranus is a giant phoenix whose location is unknown. So Uranus is a phoenix, giant Marco, that, that's pretty much what the Uranus is all about. I believe that Uranus would be something that can fly but I don't specifically see it being a giant phoenix. Well, what would a phoenix do? Just burn things away? Yeah, yeah that would be considered as mass destruction but I don't see that happening. So that's all for 2017 and we know that, that 2017 is gonna end. So yeah, I can see that all happening in 2017. Then we then we move to 2018. Zoro defeats the Shogun and receives new sword. Alright, Zoro defeats the Shogun who is his father. Yeah, that's pretty much each and every theorist on this planet theorized about. That's nothing new that only Oda could come up with. Kid Law Luffy defeats Kaido. Well, only three of them defeat Kaido. Well, wait, what? There were people who were saying that all the supernovas are gonna gather and defeat Kaido together and Luffy would be the one who would deliver the last blow. Well, they defeating Kaido. Well, the spoilers makes it seem like so underwhelming but yeah, it will happen. Those three would be the last people standing so that that's a common knowledge too. So, so that's not something that we should be astonished about. Green Bull kills Big Mom in ruined whole kick island. Green Bull kills Big Mom. <sighs> Boy, now what do I say about it? Green Bull enters a Yonko's territory and kills the Yonko. Alright dude, if admirals were to be compared to Yonko, why wasn't Akainu able to put up a great fight against Whitebeard? Why did he just lose? Well, do you have the answer to that? I don't think that you'd be having that because an admiral alone cannot defeat a Yonko by no means so that thing alone is absolute bullshit. Green Bull might be able to take down a Yonko but not alone he might be needing all three of the admirals at least to enter a Yonko's territory find her and kill her. No way absolutely no way there are so much of civilians present in Whole Cake Island and that three major events take place just in one year just in 40, 40 or 45 chapters. Just think about it. All these things can happen in one year while Whole Cake Island cannot wrap in the same time. Great thing you did there my friend. Great spoilers. Whoever made these spoilers, well, I should salute you. 2019, Straw Hats reach Elba meets Loki who tells them that the last road Poneglyph is in Moon. So I don't specifically think that the Poneglyph would be in Moon but if that's the case it would be a good reason to bring Enel back in story. So I can see both sides of the coin and both would be you know not that much of a deal and this idea is unique i don't think that i've heard this idea before moria returns with dead bodies of big mom ace and defeats luffy all right dude so you were saying that big mom died and moria was able to get that dead body right before the admiral's eyes 
well what what are these spoilers saying man <laughs> they make absolute no sense and about Moria returning, I'm pretty sure that he's gonna return in Wano and would help the alliance beat Kaido because he himself is having a beef with Kaido so he would as well just takes the opportunity and just kills his enemy. Dark Shadows has at the thriller bar is Uranus. Well, this thing makes sense. I haven't heard a theory regarding it but I guess that this could pretty much be it. 2020, Straw Hats reach Fire 7. Will Fire 7? A parallel to Water 7, really? Really? Okay. If Fire 7 exists, where is Land 7? Wind 7? Where are those islands? We okay, okay. It's 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 bullshit. It's bullshit. Vegapunk appears and tells about Devil Fruit and modifies Sunny to fly to the moon. Okay, Vega Vegapunk appears just to do the work that we know that he would do. Reveal the information regarding Devil Fruit and he modifies Sunny, causing Sunny to fly to the moon. Okay, so there was a scene before Skypea where they made Going Mary to fly on the knockup stream. What was it named? I don't know. But they do the same thing just so Sunny can reach moon. Well, I don't think that that something that simple might happen, but yeah, we'll see in 2020. Luffy and Buggy are considered as Yonko. Okay, Buggy, Buggy would be considered as Yonko because he he's getting all the attention just by being a troll. But Luffy being a Yonko, I don't I don't think that he would be considered as a Yonko this early because he is just too weak to be a Yonko to be honest. And CP0 kills Vegapunk. So I can see that happening. Probably Vegapunk would be uh, a double agent of revolutionary, but I don't think that. CP0 would do something like that before we reach the end of the story so I don't think that that will happen in 2020 itself. 2021 Frankie's parents were at Moon who were worse than Judge and the Windsmokes. They destroy Sunny and Straw Hats gets the road pony glove and descends in the Arc Maxim. <sighs> All this stuff Frankie's parents would, would be introduced in my opinion but I don't think that they would destroy a thousand Sunny. And what I guess is what the spoilers said to be the reason of Frankie's parents destroying the Sunny would be that they never wanted their son to be a shipwright and they would get to know that it was their son who made Sunny and so they destroyed it. But I don't think so, I don't see that happening. And Straw Hats get the road money glyph and, de and descends the moon in Arc Maxim. So, what a, what a great way of bringing Eneru back in the story getting their own ship destroyed the ultimate ship that was set to travel all of the grand line well frankie's dream is just destroyed by the hand of his own parents and <laughs> and eneru pretty much joins the straw hats i should assume and when they reach back on earth blackbeard has already reached raftel all right bro how did you reach raftel without having any of the pony glyphs any of the road pony glyphs all right did you reach zo did you reach Wano? Did you get into Whole Cake Island? Did you have any kind of interpreter who can read the road pony glyphs and all that stuff? Did you reach the moon? Apparently where the fourth road pony glyph is. Alright, so without any of that, how did you reach Raftel? So you guys decide whether or not this is bullshit. Then we reach at 2022. Chopper vs Doc Q happens and Doc Q is revealed to be Dr. Herolok. <sighs> he died right in front of our eyes. He he committed a suicide just to save his son Chopper and I don't know how but he becomes Docu. That's absolute bullshit. So only a couple of points that I mentioned were worth talking about and and all the rest are just absolute bullshit in my opinion. So I don't know what you guys think about the spoilers but according to me pretty much of it is complete bullshit and I don't see anything happening except those two or three points that I discussed before and that's pretty much it for this video I guess so like the video if you agree that the spoilers are fake dislike the video if you think that the spoilers are real comment your thoughts in the comment section below that what do you think of these spoilers well my thoughts are they are complete bullshit subscribe to my channel for more one piece content and don't forget to enter my giveaway 1000 subscribers giveaway I would highly appreciate if you do that and as always guys, I'm the Thinking I'll see you in the next one.